with Raju Prajapati. So, Hasanja. Hi, Raju. Yeah. So, in the first session of ours, we talked about CFTRI and you know, kind of uh, uh, what is so charming about CFTRI. No, in the second session, uh, we are going to discuss about particular subjects, the syllabus, marking schemes, when someone should start preparing. So, yeah. So let's just start. Okay, so uh, Salja, my first question is, there are a lot of subjects, physics, chemistry, maths, biology, you know, microbiology, there, geology, botany, mathematics, general aptitude, you know, mental ability, you know. So it, it covers whatever the subject that it is there in the, you know, one who is doing science, one who is doing medical, one who is doing mathematics, whatever it is, it has a lot of subjects. So according to you, what should be the strategy of studying different different subjects? Let's say, what about maths? How someone should start? And before moving ahead by subject, what do you think when someone should start preparing for CFTRI? Uh, preparing for CFTRI, you no need to have much time, I feel. And when it comes to like the time you have, uh, like uh, when you are in final year of your graduation, you can go for preparation of CFTRI, I think. Final year in the third year, when you set your mind that you want to go for CFT or you want to go for higher studies or you want to go for so many things, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you are set for your future. So that would be the main strategy. And next thing is when you say about uh, like CFT or syllabus, mathematics, like a lot of people say when they are into science pregnant, they don't want to go for mathematics. See, mathematics is not much right. or much uh, advanced the way they will ask in CFT or exam. They'll ask you in the plus two, uh, 10 and plus two. These are the basics, the uh, basic points that they'll ask from CFTR point of view. Like in order to see always, you don't need to have a very perfection in your subject. You need to prepare to the exam or you need to prepare the subject in such a way you have good marks, okay? At the end, what matters is that you, you have to get a seat. You have to get a seat, you have to get a Marks. So you have to prepare at the exam point of view, not at the syllabus so deeply. So in order to yeah. for math and physics, uh, there are so many students who will ask more question about math and physics. How math and physics? How we have to prepare for these uh, syllabus? So math and physics are not much advanced level. So you can go through your plus two syllabus. Okay, ten plus two. These syllabuses are much enough can prepare for CFTRI exam. That is, uh, that, that okay. is the concept. And always, if you are preparing for exam, go through syllabus. Syllabus is the main key. All right, yeah. Achha, generally, uh, Talja people ask, like, no, we get MSc degree from CFTRI. It's not M Tech degree. And most of the people will be having B Tech degree. So, there is a general concept that you know MSc degree is kind of you know uh, it's considered to be lower that uh, having a lower value than M Tech degree. What do you uh, what do you want to say about that? Yeah, like uh, yeah, this is a point. So you should know there is a shift in your degree. If you are in B Tech, it will convert to MSc. If you are in BSc, it will convert to M MSc. So this is one. And uh, as I feel like no such lower MTech, lower MSc, no. You are from a brand institute. So if a brand institute is offering you a degree, that it is not lower. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, there is shift in your degree. Yeah. This is a consideration where you have to go. Like some government jobs. If I, if I say, if you are interested towards government professionals, there are some. Uh, technical term like they'll ask you for B Tech and followed by M Tech or BSc followed by MSc. When you go shift from B Tech to MSc, there might be, but when you are in CFT or you are going for placements, there is not much issue I think. Okay. So it's not about the degree or name of the degree, it's about the value that we earn, right? Uh, right, right. Okay. So someone has asked like what how to stay motivated or focused because it is you know year long journey you have 10 subjects even you you give one 
subject per month, it is going to be 10 months. That is one year of frog talks. So how should someone stay motivated for the whole syllabus? Yeah, this is like, I hmm. feel like you, if we have motivation, two ways. One is intrinsic, one is extrinsic. I should not go too deeply for the subject, okay? The intrinsic motivation is something which motivates by us. Extrinsic somebody who motivates you. See, okay. see there's a time gap where intrinsic motivation needs some extrinsic motivation. Okay. Self-motivation mm -hmm. also needs someone who motivates us. So where there you can right. go for uh, any motivational videos. But see, uh, at my point of view, I'll say I was very fascinated about CFTR. Not because I was from farm science background, because I love cooking. So this was my basic point to shift from yeah. food technology from a horticulture to food technology. So for my motivation, it's not like always I get motivated or should study study for CFTR. So what did I do? I took this uh, like from Google. I have taken the photo of the CFTRA college and I made it as my lock screen, screen lock, everything, home screen. Oh so God, that wow. whenever I used to open my phone, I used to feel like, oh, I should go for this, I should study. And uh, at the end, during uh, my exam was uh, during my period, I had exam uh, in uh, November, I think. Yeah, November I had exam. So what did I do? Like two, three months before, I had taken a screenshot about the syllabus and that was my screen image. So wallpaper. Oh. So it's, this is one thing, this is intrinsic motivated. So you have to get motivated by yourself. Yeah, there is some motivation which you need now and then. It'll get through YouTube and it'll get through friends also. That That's is amazing. how you motivated That's by so yourself. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, actually, how do you see the world? That's what matters. And I mean, that's what we say in Hindi. We say that you don't have to close your eyes. That means that you want to see the world as you want to see the world. That's what you see, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, 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 everything is inside. The way you want to see the world, the way you observe the world, the way you have make perceptions, that's what true. It was really great, yeah. So the way you have been motivated, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's another thing like generally people ask, most of the students will be having, either it is a good to take a break for a year for CFTRI. Yeah, this might be the like the debate question, I think. Uh, see, if I say, when you want to go for a very good, uh, like, if you want a brand institute CFTRA, then year gap might be the reason. But I feel, don't go for, don't think negative. But I will take a year gap and go for CFTRA. Start preparation. If you have in mind that I want to go for a CFTRA, start preparation from the beginning. Make sure, there is a saying that prepare, like uh, in Canada, they'll say, I'll, I'll try to translate in English. Okay, okay. Please go ahead. Uh, preparation should be like that you don't know anything while giving exam you should give exam like that like you know everything everything so prepare like you know nothing so that you'll prepare oh. very nicely and very nicely you can crack exams so prepare in such a way so if you want this uh, my professor used to say me there was one my professor who used to say me a, a one of his students he wanted 51 rank from whatever his exam. So mm -hmm. I don't know why he wanted 51 only. He he might even ask for first rank also, but he always wanted 51 rank. I don't know why, maybe the college or the, maybe the institute which he want. I don't know no. what actually happened. But in his hostel room, he wrote very, like in wall, on wall, he wrote 51 number and he used to pray for that number. Always he used to pray. Like oh. it was very uh, like coincidence. He got 51 percentile in plus two. Plus two, he got 51 percentile, and ranking was also 51. Is see it? that, see that type of magic of numbers. Fact. Yeah, magic of numbers. Yeah. yeah, it is like see that is what preparation. No, don't think of going into like I'll take a year gap and go for preparation. Year gap is not a big deal we can take. But thing is, you will lose one year. Don't do that. Prepare from the start if you are into that. 
prepare for the picnic prepare as a way you have to crack it then we will right do. yeah or uh, it's possible to cover the syllabus in 5 to 6 months yeah yeah or what generally what generally time it takes i have uh, already said this in uh, like your uh, one video session also how to prepare i'll say preparation not takes much time to you yeah it takes yeah. at least if you are into very much keen like you uh, you want a good a good marks then you have to prepare from the beginning it takes one year it takes i guess and uh, if you are like preparation is late then there is a strategy of preparation also if you want to know the syllabus completely read each and every topic that is also there like because of there is no such blueprint you have to prepare very well you can't neglect any single subject if you are neglecting maths there are so many uh, students or they'll come to me and they'll say ma'am i'm going to leave this maths syllabus i'll go my because my biochemistry is very strong i'm going to leave or my biochemistry is very weak i'll i'll take my nutrition no See, because this there is no such blueprint over here so you have to struggle for each and every and if you want it wait, like i want this college by anything by hook or crook then you have to go each and every point and i always say students don't go deep don't go don't prepare like you are preparing for some upsc exam just prepare your preparation for cftri right? cftri is limited syllabus go for that each and every syllabus only basics the last so go for each and every point of the syllabus and prepare on that then yeah true but a lot of students also ask that or even i was no, not knowing these facts uh, just for few days back only i came to know is there any scholarship after the admission process best in merit or something yeah yeah from last uh, 2022 there is a scholarship okay the students who get like first top 3 rank they'll get a scholarship carry scholarship yeah. carry cup has introduced this scholarship for a students motivation where you'll get 100% scholarship for top 3 students where yeah. even your uh, like hostel fee college tuition fee everything will be given by will be fully funded by the scholarship okay so you can access okay. these three uh, this scholarship carry scholarship Only first, uh, first three top students have this. Yeah, the the one who has, yeah, the one uh, among the thirty-two students, among who has got the merit merit in the you know CFTRA intense examination for second third will be getting full scholarship, and you know in the hostel fee, in the academic fee, everything, right? Yes. Aja, is that also true that uh, you know whatever the class ranking is there according to the performance in two years, that also will get the full wave. will be given the fee that for second third except this merit then one who is getting into the classes yeah yeah like for first year students when they end, uh, they'll be given scholarship on the basis of the entrance exam result in the first second year they'll be given scholarship on the basis of the first year result. okay right nice scholarship okay so uh, Like we already know that negative marking is kind of point two five since one there is one mark and it's almost kind of one minute, one minute competition is very high. So one question that people ask generally is that how many people, how many students generally sit in the ex uh, examination? Can you just give a rough idea about that? Well, like almost all graduations who are from the uh, science uh, graduations, they all will be appearing for this exam. As I say, mm -hmm. don't think how many peoples are competing. Competate yourself. You should perform very right. good the last perform. That is how you competate yourself and have a good growth. I think. So, uh, like there are so many students, like all over India, all over India, every graduation student will be appearing for this exam. Who those who have this eligibility criteria. So, yeah. all, there will be more chance for appearing for CFR exam. and i feel that there is like much not much difficult when it was before because there was difficulty level because one state has only one seat now it is completely on merit basis so you can go ahead competitive with that and pay for others 
and if you have you know kind of uh, the, the feeling of hard work you know sacrifices do sacrifice and is get the seat in cft right that's what the makkah and madina food technology is right okay so one another things as well is like uh, you know most of the times people feel like you no know, it's thin subjects okay and i know most of the students have you know this background either they will be weak in mathematics or they will be weak in physics or they will be weak in some other subjects so what do you think like how someone should start uh, either this should take some place to some guidance from teachers you know seniors or coaching and how someone should start what should be your thought on that yeah as i said the student there are so many students who they start preparation but what they'll do is they start accessing more number of materials from n number of websites same number of google yeah. or any don't do that <laughs> For take for one, there is always saying minimum references, maximum revision make you good, right? So okay. always have you should have a minimum number of references, but maximum time of revision and maximum preparation should also to be very nice. If you are preparing, you have a very long time go each topic first, okay? And make sure which is your weak topic, you have to strengthen it. If you are at the short time preparation, you have only one uh, six seven months or eight months preparation don't neglect the weak point but make sure you are making your strong point the strongest okay that yeah. should be the strategy of preparation weak point should also should also be having a vision like you should go through that topic also but which is your strong point you should make it much strong you should not leave any single question from the topic which are strong topic so that should be your strategy of preparation during it we always have a preparation strategy based on the time you have see if you are having a long term then go for each and every topic you should go prepare with each and every topic to concentrate more on the topic which are weak but if you have short term then concentrate more on the topic you are which are strong so that you don't lose any more marks which you are strong in as i said. right i always always go for the model question papers as i know there is no such question papers given out from cf so no question papers will be given out so there is a book you can refer or you can take a mock test also but but don't go much 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 syllabus or much uh, materials access so stick on right, to some right. little material more revisions will have very good exam no. keep your path constant what i you mean to say like it's not we should be diverse you are going here picking here you know collecting all those things and you know you're not even able to complete the syllabus like what it is that they cup acha what do you think about the test series and all because since you you know we don't found uh, anything like now that is given the cftr or w so what we get is memory based right so uh, practicing and and do you think like any specific topic that should be focused on or we should give Oh, according to time, that's what you told even. Okay, our preparation should be according to the you know time that we have in our hand. So let's say if uh, you know examination is in uh, June or July, what should be the best month to start with? December, November, October, or January, February? As I first month. Start from December. See, December. one month. No, you should collect your syllabus. You should collect your materials to study start preparation from that see make yeah. sure you give time for each and every subject give yeah. a timeline time tag so that you complete the syllabus within that period of time you should make target for each and every subject you should give a target yeah. time that also so that you complete see or else what we will do we'll just leave till the exam time and always as i feel test series are important See when you will come to know how much preparation you are done, or what level of preparation you are doing. That will right. only be, uh, will come to know only when we take test series. So test series sure. are important, I think. Go for it, test series. If you are accessing for test test series, go for it. That would help you in your preparation, making sure that at what level your preparation has come, or at uh, what level of what level you have reached your preparation. So that is important, I. Think. Oh great! 
Uh, thank you so much. Sanja, any last message you'd like to uh, give for the upcoming aspirants that who are preparing for CFTRI and you know who really want to get into CFTRI? Uh, as I've seen, like uh, CFTRI is a brand I know. See, not everywhere. There are only 30, 36. There are a young number of people competing. There might be some little minute mistakes because of that you can't get into CFTRI. Don't take it much into your life. See, education is a part of life, not a life. Also. Right. So very, very true. If cool. there are a number of opportunities outside, always think if you didn't get this, something better is waiting for you. Always true. have that in mind. So if you're not getting this, you are getting something better is waiting. Have that in mind and go for your life. And for the, in terms of preparation, I'll say, don't listen to much. See, people say you should read this book, you should read that book, you should go for this book. No, don't. Yeah, you have to listen to someone, but at the end, the preparation strategy should be on your basis. See, there are so many students who go for night studies, who go for day studies. If yeah. I say I have cracked CFTRI, I, if I say I have studied in the morning, so I have cracked CFTRI. If a night student starts preparation in the morning, he can't do that. He can't be that efficient mm -hmm. as much as he is inefficient at night. So True. always have your own strategy of your preparation. See, a student yeah. can prepare for 10 months or even a single month also. But based on True. this hard work always. But make sure uh, hard work pays you. Education will, education and knowledge will not go waste. If you have knowledge, you can. Yeah, you that can is very good life. Okay. I totally agree with this. Uh, the education is never going to you know, make you regret. Whatever you get, whatever you are solving the question, it is going to make you somewhere. It is going to aid a positive thing, something in your life. And it is going to utilize someday, for sure. I I, I, can, I, mean, I totally agree with this because whatever I did in my plus two, whatever I did in my graduation, I got uh, now. I mean, uh, I, can, I can just feel this. Yeah, true. And one more thing I want to say, like there are so many students who take into heart, who take on heart, like I'm not about the seed. No, there are so many people leading life happily who even can't read yeah. CFT, who have Ooh. not read. <laughs> there is a like brand, it's a dream university. Yeah, yeah, sure. But if you can't get, don't take into heart. Don't have much heart broken. Who on life? On. There are so yeah. many people who can uh, lead much, much better life than CFTR also. Yeah, there is a right. point you can enjoy there. And one more thing, like students, when they are into studies, they forget their family, they forget the, everything. Don't do that. Don't do that. Time, you have to enjoy with your family also. Like, uh, if I say enjoying, people go on social media and do blah, blah. No. Social media is a site where you have option choices in your hand. You can choose good, you can choose bad also. So, True. like if I say social media, people go on seeing so many videos. Some people get demotivated. They'll say, oh, these many people are reading. These many people are preparing and they're preparing from so long time. I'm preparing from this short time. I'll be not able to. Don't do that. Preparation strategy is completely depend on the person ability. I can prepare in one day. Some other student can prepare in 10 days. Some other student can True. prepare in one hour also. So make sure you always have a positive mindset even if you go in the social media also. Okay. It should help True. you in your improvement, not demotivate you. So this is my point to say all students that always have a positive mindset. Go for a little references and maximum revision. People read n number of books. I know that they are much intelligent. But what the what the thing they fail is they won't go for revision. They should go for revision. That is a oh. must. If anyone is giving very like uh, precise notes, go for it. But don't go for so number so many number of notes. It might confuse you or it might time consuming for you. You might have not. Like uh, there are students who can't give exam if they do, didn't complete syllabus. So don't do that. So if you are right. in that kind of mindset, go for little references so that you complete within a time. That should right. be your strategy and always have positive. Positive mindset which leads 
you a very happy life so i completely believe that we're just going to be one of the you know you know generally we don't found lot of videos in you know youtube for safety right and all because my like, students are also very lazy and you no know, i believe that it is going to give a overall what it is how to prepare for safety ri and it is really going to help people of course so thank you so much sir for being with us um, you know and and of course uh, lot of students is going to comment on youtube and i really like i'll also request to students comment on the youtube we'll surely try to answer Sarja will look for that, and even we'll try. Our team will try to uh, answer. Also, you can reach out to the our www. agribusiness for you. dot com for uh, different courses related to agriculture and food technology. Yeah, thank you so much. All the best. Thank, thank you. you, Sarja. Bye.